young man, no experience, just some education. I achieved in a very short period of time in 1990, I'd made over $2 million in the corporate world. But guess what? I wasn't a millionaire. You know, when you become a millionaire, you take everything you own, you subtract all your debts, and what's left is called your net worth. And if that's not a million, you're not a millionaire. You understand? After earning two, over $2 million in the corporate world, now, I was earning what less than 3% of America make. So everybody thought I was doing great. But I had no life. I was traveling all around the world developing markets for a Fortune 100 company. And I did that basically all my life. I have a lovely wife. I never got to see her. I have two great children, very young. They only saw their daddy by at the airport, talking to me from Tokyo, India, Australia, South Africa, Germany, Venezuela, over the phone. Now, my young children, before they even got in grade school, could talk great over the phone. <laughs> but they didn't know who their daddy was. Because when I got back, I worked 18 hours trying to make ready for the next market. I was broke. My net worth after earning over $2 million in the corporate world was less than $250,000. It was just barely over $200,000. And I didn't know my family. I was looking for something different. And I evaluated buying franchises, doing something. I had an entrepreneurial spirit. But I thought I lost my time because I should have done that when I graduated from college and then just started business. I'd be like everybody else who I envied, even though I was at very top echelons in the corporate world. Well, I had a good friend. We were a fellow corporate executive in the same company. Came to me in 1991, slobbered all over me about this company and these products and all this stuff. And I really thought my friend flipped. I thought he turned into a Mr. Mary Kay man. <laughs> but I picked up the company brochure. I read the brochure. And I was reading about the company because I'd never heard of this company. And I was developing products for future generations. And, you know, we supplied Amway, Mary Kay, all these. That we supplied them with component parts to make their products. So I did know about the network marketing industry, but I didn't know about what they did. Well, when I read the compensation plan, I read it five times. Now, being a chemical engineer and a master's in business, I'm pretty good at math, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I used to do calculus in my head. But here's the key. I turned to him. I said, Preston, man, you make a ton of money at this thing. He looked at me with a great big old Chester cat grin and said, man, I knew if anybody would see it, you would, Bob. <laughs> Well, anyway, I didn't really know anything about it. I made an MBA case study of the entire network marketing industry. Malaluka, Amway, Shackley, Mary Kay, the whole bit. The tens of thousands of companies. But I boiled it down to the ones that were really successful. And then I wanted to meet these successful people that were making this kind of money. They came from all walks of life. Electricians, housekeepers, teachers, maids, you name it, professors in college. Every walk of life I found that people who didn't have the education that I had were millionaires. They owned their own life. Boy, that excited me. I wanted a part of that. And so I wanted to find out how to get it. And I actually went to homes of people who were making 100 grand a month, 40,000 a month, 60,000 a month. I did see how they lived. I did validate it was real. I started network marketing part-time as a corporate executive. Oh, 
You're talking about what Sterling just talked to you about. Do you know how people looked at me? <laughs> well, it didn't matter because I knew the truth about network marketing and the people that were successful in it. And I put my head down and I went to work. And I worked part-time. And in 1994, I had only created an income of about somewhere between five and $6,000 a month. That was only about a third of what I was making as a corporate executive. But we had an opportunity, my wife and I talked, and we were gonna take the jump. And I jumped out and went to work full-time in network marketing. I said, if I can achieve this part-time on the weekends when I'm home and stuff like this, then just think what we can achieve if I went to work full-time. Well, in 1995, this thing called a binary compensation plan invaded the network marketing industry. It changed network marketing, trust me. I lost a third of my downline after I was getting ready to finally make it to a telephone card company with a binary. Making money quick, had telephone, boop. So I rebuild it, and here comes along another company, one of those companies up there called XL. <laughs> Guess what? Lost another third of my downline, and I had to rebuild it again. Well, this was turning into real work, and my credit card was about running out of its limits. I was almost $120,000 in debt and credit card debt. Now I'm telling you the real story, ladies and gentlemen. I then said, okay, I'm going after real leaders. Look at all these companies that are shutting down. I knew how to executive recruit. I hired professional engineers, people, all walks of profession, I hired them for our company. So I went after professional people in the industry of network marketing. And I said, man, and I called a guy of a company just went out of business that took a third of my downline with a weight loss pill that gives you energy, had a binary plan, make money quick, have energy, and lose weight. Now, is that not a deal? But it went out of business. Why? Because the product killed people. <laughs> yeah, it was true. Well, I called him up in Dallas because I knew he'd be looking. And he said, Bob, man, you just missed me. But I, I'll tell you what, I will take a look at what you got and I'll come to you. He's coming to my house in Baton Rouge from Dallas. That's a deal, right? Guess what? We agreed eight minutes each. If you can't do it in eight minutes, you can't do it. <laughs> and he let me go first. Boy, that's a real winner. I get to go first and close, right? Uh-huh. Well, he came to my house. I did my eight minutes. And I say, see any reason not to join me now? That's the closing line, right? <laughs> and guess what? He said, Bob, hold out your hand. He dropped 10 one-tenth ounce American Eagle gold coins in my hand. And he asked me if I knew what they were. I said, yeah, 10th ounce American Eagle gold coins. He said, man, you're the first person that never got it right. <laughs> I said, I want more of them. I like them. I want a lot of them. And he said, this is the company you joined? He said, yeah. I said, don't tell me the plan's a binary. And he said, yeah. Five on the left, five on the right, you get a $400 check, or you can earn the coin. Another five and five, you get another check. Another five and five, you get another check. I said, you got to be kidding me. I signed up immediately. I wanted full pay for my coins because I wanted coins in my hand. I didn't want a piece of paper. Promised to pay. Now, this company was already 14 months old. I didn't know about it. Nobody ever told me about it. I didn't join at the very beginning. Look at where we're at in 7K. Oh. Man, here we are. This, and I didn't know the company was really 14 minutes. I just decided I'm going to risk everything. Look, I risked a multi-million dollar career in the corporate world. Now, I, I was thinking I had to go back to work in a job. Do you know how much that hurt me? 
It depressed me something awful to think I had to go back to work because the recruiters were still calling me, asking me to go to work for corporations. I got into Family View, that company, that gold coin company. Sorry, I didn't want to mention the name of the company. But I got in that gold coin company, and I made $2,200 first week. Made $4,400 the next week. And because of the quirks in their compensation plan, I didn't make $6,600 the next week. But after that, I made sixty. I made $6,600 after that. By helping people, sharing this with other people that I know. All I did was apply the skills, attitudes, and techniques and the IPAs, the income producing activities, that I had learned part time by doing network marketing. But I wasn't with the right company at the right time. See, I knew if I stayed with that other company who had already went through its momentum curve, I would, it would take me 10, maybe 15 years to achieve the kind of success that I wanted to achieve to be my own boss. I went back to my case study of network marketing and I, then I reviewed everything and I saw something that I missed the first time. All these people that I knew about, guess when they joined their company? Before the momentum curve of that company. Yes, that's a secret that they never tell you about. All those people joined before the momentum curve or the growth curve that put that company on the map. Holy mackerel. Then I realized what I had in my hand. This company was only 14 months old and I joined it. It's 15 months and I'm making tons of money. I'm almost replacing what I was making in the corporate world. Well, all I did then was develop a system I gleaned everything that I had from all the leaders of network marketing. I bought thousands of dollars worth of these kits and programs of how they did it and try to recreate it. Guess what? I found that a lot of people did not really build their business the way they said they did, but they were making money selling their programs. Well, my system's free. Don't charge a penny for it. Because that's not right. But what I did, I reached back in there, used my business skills and analytical skills, and I pulled from the heart of all these successful programs the similarity, the things that are common. And it boils down to the most simplest system in the world, which is very duplicatable. And I'm going to share that with you because... We went on, as Richard knows, and created an organization over 70,000 people from me to the left and right. In that business, and Richard knows it, no one ever put a person under me from above on the left or right. Look what you have with 7K. If a person wants to become a copper, bronze, silver, gold, they're going to be having to put some people in one of your legs. <laughs> that's the most powerful one another business I've ever seen. If I want, uh, here's what I really want to do in my story. I want to draw a string from my heart to each one of your hearts. And I want you to be able to get what's in my heart and my brain. And I wish I could just say, press and it transfers, you know, like we do on an iPhone or and it goes over there. Because if you knew what I feel about this company that Roger Ball, Rick Hansen, Josh Anderson, and Zach Davis has provided for us and all the future people in network marketing, it is the single greatest opportunity ever in network marketing history. And this will be a billion dollar company. I, 
I see no reason that it shouldn't be. And you're at the very forefront of being able to participate in that with your loved ones that you know, your friends and your family and everybody else. This industry is the greatest entrepreneurial industry that's ever existed in America and the world. And America is the country of entrepreneurialism, where you can be all you can be. And now we have the greatest vehicle, the greatest leverage vehicle ever to come about in all my studies of every company in network marketing for you to share in that wealth and that opportunity. That's what's so great about 7K Metals. And I love, we believe in you. But you've got to believe in you. You've got to believe in you. As Richard said, you've got to have that burning desire. See, I know that. I had that burning desire, didn't I? Yeah, I had it. And then I found the right company with the right timing and the right product. There is no better comp plan than this ever in the history of network marketing. Here's a company that's trying to optimize paying out 65% instead of the vice versa. Never heard of that, ever. They're doing everything in their power to share the wealth. Now, that's a one another business and with the greatest product in the world. Let me just kind of give you the gist of my system. And I'm, if you don't mind, I'm 71. I used to know all this by heart when I did it. But the last year, ever since I joined 7K Metals, I've been putting my family, my, my, like my 87-year-old mom, back in her home that flooded. My son, my oldest son, flooded, lost his home totally. We had the great August flood of 2016 in Baton Rouge, flooded 40,678 homes. You know, I know a lot of people don't know about that. Crazy news media don't really report real tragedies. But that's what I've been doing. Now, Richard gave me a call in November. I think November 14th. I remember. <laughs> and I was hot, sweaty, dirty, just in the living room, trying to put sheetrock up in my mom's house, was living with me <laughs> again. <laughs> and uh, I saw who was calling, and I said, Richard, what in the world are you calling me? So I picked up the phone, answered the phone, and he says, Bob, you can't believe this. Silver. Five on the left, five on the right. Man, you make a cycle check. Five, do it all over and make another check. Just keep doing it and you make another check. It's great. And, you know, that sounded all good. Because, see, Richard and I have been having the same dream, but Richard did something about it. See, I went on and made another million dollars in real estate. But, see, he did something about his real dream. I was already a millionaire. I'm still a millionaire. And so I don't maybe have that burning desire like you do, but you know what my burning desire is? My burning desire is to help other people recreate what I did. That's what my burning desire is. And I want to share everything that I know about it. And so <laughs> Richard said two magic words to me after that. I love Richard. But I've been knowing him for you know, over 20 years. You need to understand. And he said, Bob, Roger Ball is a co-founder in this business. That's all he needed to say to me. <laughs> he sent me the link. I looked on the thing. I quickly looked at 7K Metals. Why? Why did I think that? See that company called Melaluk up there? I had already done all the research. I knew everything about Roger Ball. I didn't even know him personally, but I knew Richard for so many years and that he's always talked about his relationship with Roger Marshall Ball. 
And so I felt like I knew him, but I knew him from my research of network marketing. Because, see, I was in the company that was directly competing with Malaluka at the same time when I started network marketing, but after the momentum curve. I knew who Roger was. I knew what he had done. That gave me the credibility to just sign up right then, right there, on the spot. And I did. And then I called my friend George, and I said, George, we need to have a meeting at your house day after tomorrow on Friday night. I have something very important to say. And I went over to George's house that night on Friday in our hot, sweaty, working clothes. I'd call up a few people, say, we're going to meet at George. It's very important. Those are, you know, if you don't make it, you know, you're going to be, you're going to miss out on the greatest news that you need to know about. 15 people showed up, all 15 people got in that night. I made a commitment to them right then that night, I will come every Tuesday night and I do a training meeting and I start and I'll help and I'll support you, but I cannot do what I did before because I gotta get my family back in their home. Last month, we got our family, my youngest son's totally in his home, I'm going to work in, in 7K Metals. Because I want to help my family, my friends, and everybody do the same thing. And I want everybody to make 7K medals go into a huge momentum. Because what Sterling showed you about the dance is so true. Because when I brought buses to Dallas, listen, when I got into that business, in four months I had 5,000 people on my downline. Four months. They didn't have that many people in the company over there. And then when we started pouncing on Dallas, they started doing the same thing from other parts of the country. <coughs> we can do the same thing in 7K medals. This is the first real kind of major Super Saturday of 7K medals. That's the way we did it before. And we need to have a lot more Super Saturday. Tony and has done a tremendous amount of work, but it takes work from leaders like that to put them together and takes other leaders to support it, to make it happen. And that's what we need to do as a group this next year. We need to propel 7K medals into its momentum growth curve so that they can do what they need to do, and then we can start expanding and gl growing globally. That's what will put this company on the mark. We need to help Roger Ball fulfill his dream, his, his mission that he shared with us in Idaho Falls at the grand opening of 7K Medals. And that's what I'm committed to do with you, every one of you. Next, oh, I'm in control of slides. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Here's the real key. My system. Real short. You've got to make a commitment. You've got to make a commitment of two years when you join this business. And when you get a person on your left and a person on your right, you get a person that's joining you in your business. You get a person that's joining you with the same commitment you have. Two years. And you get on the corner of the month right then and right there, and they get on the corner of the month. Because if they don't get on the corner of the month right then and right there, they're not making a commitment to you or themselves. And you need to find another person until you find that person that's going to do that. Because the company has what I call a nut. In all businesses, there's part of the compensation plan that is a nut that's highly duplicatable and it makes it work. Well, Zach shared it, or Josh shared it the other night, and it's right there, so obvious, right in front of us. You become an associate, you get on the corner of the month, you have a person on your left, person on your right, become a corner of the month, and because of this fantastic compensation plan of 7K medals, Within 10 months, you're going to earn a $500 check no matter what. Hello. Hello. Now, you help that person on your left and that person on your right duplicate that little nut. 
you help them find a person on their left and a person on their right that makes that same commitment. <coughs> Guess what? Your next check is not 10 months for you. It's 10 months for them. But your next check's only five months. And then you help those four people do the same thing. Now, you can calculate your own next check. Because it isn't months. <laughs> that little nut, that little simplicity thing is what you need to learn and know by heart and every time you must communicate that in your group. Now, you know, one of the greatest mistakes that I saw in the network marketing world is that network marketers aren't thinking long term. As a businessman, I always thought long term. We had, we had to do three year plans, five year plans, and 15 year plans. And, you know, legitimate network marketing companies are important to teach at the very beginning with your new partner and your new associate. Commitment to one another. You're going to commit because, you know why? Because how many of you, how many of you went to college? Raise your hand. Okay. That took four years minimum, right? Okay, did they pay you while you were going to college? Okay, when you graduated from four years after paying your way through college or working your way through it, did you expect to get out and in one to five years retire at an income of $100,000 or more a year for the rest of your life? Network marketing, 7K medals, you can do that. And 7K medals is a plan that you can actually do that. And you can build it part-time. You don't have to jeopardize what you're doing. Most people do start it part-time. Look, I was a corporate executive. I started mine part-time, right? Anybody can. <coughs> now, I'm going to give you a couple of little analogies so it really sinks in for you. And you need to share these with everyone. Let's take a doctor. Everything takes training and experience, doesn't it? Even network marketing. I had to learn the skills, attitudes, and techniques and how to apply the skills, attitudes, and techniques to the income-producing activities, the IPAs. You will too. And I don't care if you've done network marketing before and you've done it successfully. Do it right and it'll work for you because this company is going to be here forever. Yes. <laughs> and so do it right and you will build a long-term recurring income. And doing it right is teaching highly duplicatable things that are easy to understand, easy to share, and you only share them if you really believe them. Like, do you think I believe for what I'm telling you? Yes. I hope so, because I drew my string from my heart to your heart. And I hope you're feeling what I'm trying to tell you. It takes a doctor eight to 10 years of education, training, and experience before they even start to earn a real kind of income. It takes an engineer five years of education and seven to ten years of training and experience before they start to earn a significant income. It takes a management person or person in business in management about five to seven years of education and about 10 to 15 years before they start receiving top income levels. I'm giving you a five-year plan and you can earn more than you earn in your job if you will just do it. One year to learn, one year to earn, Three to five years to build a big business. And you know, I'm having technical difficulties, Zach. Uh, forward. And you know what I need to do? In fact, i tell you what, just put them all up there. Uh, just go through it real quick so we just put them all up there. There you go, so just leave them right there. Okay. When I was in the corporate world, 
and I think everybody knows this, when you got a new job, did you know exactly what to do? You were scared to death that you were going to get fired your first day when you went into your job, right? You didn't know how to do it, right? Well, everybody wants to have a job description, know what to do. <laughs> well, I wrote a job description for network marketing. For network marketing success, if you got the right opportunity, the right company, and the right product. Number one is that commitment, five to 10 hours a week. And this is commitment. This is not spare time, hobby time. This is earnest commitment. Commitment's what transforms promise into reality. It's the words that speak boldly about your intentions. Commitment's the stuff that character is made of. Commitment is the power to change things. Commitment is the daily triumph of integrity over skepticism. Remember that one. I don't have these in, in print yet for y'all, but I will. They will be up and they will be out. And everything I have, of course, Josh and Zach and them know, I've copyrighted this stuff a long time, but I give it over to the company, they can use it, they can send it out, I don't care, because what I want is I want everybody to succeed in the greatest company and opportunity that there is. Now, the next thing you have to do and learn how to do is expose the business. And here's the secret, okay? Expose the business to five people a day, five days a week. And a lot of you are saying, what? I can't do that. Oh, uh, you're already having problems exposing the business. No. You just don't believe you can. What you need to do, I think everybody in the world has one of these today. Okay? And what you do is you dump this list out on an Excel sheet or handwrite it. What you do is you go into Zach's training program on how to build a list, and that's the first place you dump it. And that's what you're going to do. Now, I'm not talking about going and spending hours with people and trying to convince them, just like Sterling just said. You're going to learn over time how to do this, but the list down there of making 100 people, of course, you need to build a list of 500 but I never tell people that right at the beginning <laughs> because I want the first list of 100. So kind of think about this. If you do a list of 100 and you're doing five people a day, that's 25 people, you got four weeks worth of work, right? That's pretty cool. Now, this is a real quick, so like the fast start training. Zach's got up. Everybody's supposed to do the fast start training, right? It's calling up a friend. You don't know if... It, you found a great opportunity you're excited about, don't know if it's right for them, but would you take a look at it for me? Tell me what you think. See, I don't mind asking people to tell me what you think. I think you should too, okay? Because whenever they say have an objection, you just give them more information to answer their objection. You don't answer it, you give them more information. Let it answer it. That's duplicatable, see? Well, this exposing the people five days a week to five people a day, that should only take you no more than 30 minutes. Because you should spend more than 30 minutes on it, you've already spent too much time. Okay? The next part of your job description in this five to 10 hours is watching videos, read self-help books, and read what's on the website every day for about 15 to 30 minutes. I said every day. Why every day is important? Because you've got to learn these skills, attitudes, and techniques that got to become ingrained in you. They've got to become a part of you. You've got to know everything on that website so that when I'm talking to someone on the phone when I'm driving down the car, driving down the car, driving down the road, and I need them to go, they have a question, I need, I can tell them exactly where to go on the 7kmedals.com site to find that answer. You need to know that. So that's why you need, oh, I've already read everything. No, 
Unless you know exactly where it's at, you haven't read it enough. And unless you can actually explain the same things that's on there almost word for word, you haven't read it enough. See, I'm not asking you to learn a whole bunch of hard, complicated things. Network marketing is simple, but people don't do the simple things to succeed big time. I didn't think I was too smart. When it boiled down to simplicity, I did the simple things because I wanted to be a millionaire. I wanted time, freedom, wealth. That's what you should want. Do the opportunity meeting, either you do one or attend one, and make a call once a week or train. Now this is a full hour each. So that's basically two hours of time. That's extremely important. So if you're not doing an opportunity meeting at your own home, then you join an opportunity call. Listen to a recorded call once a week. Take a break at work if you're in a job, you know, just over broke situation mm -hmm. that you want out of. Listen to it on the break, but make sure you do it. Don't take shortcuts. This is your two-year education program. And you can build an income in three to five years. See, I believe that a person doesn't have an opportunity to complain in their first two years. And I tell Everybody in my organization right now knows if you start complaining, oh, it's not working, this person won't listen to me, I, I say, hey, you don't have a right. You haven't even learned all the skills, attitudes, and techniques yet. It's obvious because you're complaining. <laughs> Once you learn the skills, attitudes, and techniques, and they're all there in your associate training, that's act, the company has... They train the same things I train. That's what I love about it. Because see the synchronicity of every, how everything synchronizes that I see? We've got a company that has company training, how duplicatable that is around the world? Wow, I've never seen that before. This is so powerful. And you just add my couple little things to it here, job description and a commitment? <laughs> Hello. You got it made. Okay, now, making your list, you, and started kind of hit on it, but I'm going to hit on it real quick because I'm, I've been doing this for a long time and getting people to do that and successfully getting people to do this right. You've got to work on your list five days a week in spurts. You've got to make yourself do this. You've got to sit down in 15 minutes, you've got to schedule it. You've got to sit down. It's got to be quiet. No TV, no radio, no anything. It's you, your list, and Zach's how to build a list video with all the reminders right there in front of you. And you sit down there and you work. And as long as you write names, you keep on going. Okay? But when you start thinking, uh-huh, uh-huh, quit, stop, come back to it the next day. Because you don't want to mull and think and thought and get hung up. And you keep doing this for this first two years and adding people to your list because you're going to meet people and you're going, to, you're going to meet a lot of new people. And it's going to be more meaningful to you because you're going to capture names, places, and when you met them, and you're going to add them to the list. And they're going to be part of that list. So your list is going to grow much longer than 500 over two-year period. But if you're not list building the whole time in that two years, <coughs> you may not make that million because you're not following a duplicatable system that absolutely works. Building your list. Now, I want to give you an example of what I call how to expose the business, especially as strangers. Tiffany, would you come up? This is Tiffany Clements. She's in... Albuquerque, New Mexico. She's all over there all by herself. There's no other 7K member over there right now. Now, 
And, and if you don't always carry around the products of your company with you, that's a that big mistake. I always have a coin of the month, and I always have a silver eagle with me, okay? Because that basically communicates our business, okay? Now, let's say that Tiffany Iron Line at the grocery store, at a, a department store. We're waiting. There's a cashier up there. Let me just explain to you how I wind. Everybody in my business know I do this, okay? We're waiting in line. Opportune moments. I say, man, they take a long time here, aren't they? You know? And, hey, by the way, while we're waiting in line, you mind if I ask you a couple of crazy questions? Sure. Hold out your hand. I put that coin in there. I say, do you know what that is? Is it a silver dollar? Huh, silver dollar. Okay, most people might not know it, but that, you're right. It's actually, it's one ounce of pure 999 silver. Now, I told you I was going to ask you a couple of crazy questions. Mm -hmm. So if you had a choice, would you rather have just one of them in your hand, whole hand full, shoe box full, closet full, house full, or all you could get? If you had a choice, which one would you rather have? All I could get. <laughs> yeah, me too. You think <laughs> great. <laughs> now, if they say none, just simply take your coin out, <laughs> put it in your hand, put it in your pocket, turn around. Now, I'm going to tell you, I've done this many times. With gold coins and silver coins. Every time. There, it has been without fail. Every time I've done that, the person's tapping me on the shoulder a few minutes. and said, well, wait a minute. <laughs> what was that all about? Uh, so, and then I just cut to the chase. I say, well, if you'd like to have all you can get like I do, then you take your 7K medals card and you say, go to this website, watch three Short videos, take you about 12 minutes. It explain everything. And if you like what you see, all my information's here. And just contact me, and we'll take it from there. But if you see what I see, I'll see if you joined or not. Okay. Thank you. Right, thanks. And then we go on about our business. I don't explain anything. She asked me questions. I keep saying, go to the website, go to the website. That's the way you take opportune moments. Now, as everybody knows, thank you, Tiffany. Thank you. Give every, give every, give every Tiffany a great big hand. That's what I mean by it only takes you a minute or so and you meet stranger. Many people will give me their card. Hey, guess where they're going on my list? Okay. Now, that's the big next slide. That's your job description. <laughs> Little help. There's the coin script. Script over that. Huh? Oh, the battery fell out. There's the problem. Okay. We just went over the coin script. I wanted it up there when I was doing it so you can read it. But it's going to be available to you if you want it. Uh, if you don't have Attitude by Chuck Swindoll, this is a very important part of the whole system. And get it, make a copy of it. We had ours. I placed it on my refrigerator in our home. And our children were about seven and nine at that time, if I remember correctly. And uh, what you need to do, I'm not going to read it to you. I want you to read it. I want you to get it. I want you to read it. But you know, basically, we're in charge of our attitudes. <laughs> longer you live, you're going to find out you're in charge of your attitude. But it ends up that I found that life is about 10% of what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. And so it is with you. You're in charge of your attitudes. Get this. Start your day off by reading it every day. It takes a quick minute. That's all you need to do because people want to be with people who have good attitudes. Now, I know we have trials and tribulations in life. <laughs> we get mad. Everybody does. But please, that's a great time to read attitude. I'm not saying walk around and be happy all the time, vivacious. I mean, that's crazy. 
I'm saying this is an important ingredient of success in your business. Our children knew this by heart. Because we something happened with our kids, we said, go to the refrigerator. They knew what it meant. They started reciting that before they got to the refrigerator. And most of the time, they said it before they ended up getting to the refrigerator. It helped tons. Let's see if it works. Okay. I'm going to sum this up really for you, and it's here. The truth is right there. Above average success in your 7K network marketing business requires those skills, attitudes, and techniques, developing them, and how to apply them to your IPAs, the income-producing activities in your job description. But it takes belief in a profession of network marketing like I have like I got back in 91, and it stayed with me. You need to realize that network marketing is a three to five year career with the right company, and you can do this. You need to believe in the profession because what other people think, say, or do will roll off of you just like it rolled off of me as a corporate executive when I was doing it part time because they weren't in charge of my success for the next 10 years, were they? They weren't gonna pay bills. They weren't gonna help me out when I was down. But you know what I found out? People in network marketing, people with you, they help you out when you're down. That's, it's a truly one another business. You gotta believe in the business building system. You've got the greatest system that exists through 7K right there your associate training, and then for all the products about your company through the buyer certification. I've never seen a better, better program. And it's so duplicate. Everybody's going to be going through the same program. You just add a couple of extra things to it. You got it made. And then belief in the fact that you can do this. Believe in yourself because 7K Metals believes in you. I believe in you. We believe in you. You've got to believe in yourself. And then we're going to see you on the beaches of the world. That's what we're going to see. When you believe in yourself, and you can do this. Because you've got the opportunity right here. Look, I, I could go, I, now I really could go on for hours, and all my people know this. But I, I wanted to get this critical information out to you, and I encourage you to use it and share it with everybody. But the main thing is belief in yourself, commitment, and attitude. And you've got the job description, real simple. Everything else the company gives you, give it up for the company, give it up for the product, give it up for Tony, and thank you for your time and attention. I love all of you.